Hi all. I wanted to talk talk with you about should should women preach pastor should women should women preach the gospel? So by rights me and I know what the Bible says about women preachers in the New Testament but me by rights by rights as a man me I I I sh I shouldn't be I shouldn't be doing it so let me just so yeah as I was saying as me being a man I shouldn't yeah I shouldn't be doing it because how can I answer how, how can I how can I me being a man answer for answer for a lady to say oh you should you sh you should preach the gospel or you shouldn't preach the gospel what 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 rights do I do I have do I have as a man to say that to a woman despite what the bible says about women 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 not preaching as a man I shouldn't really it's not it's not really down to me as a man to say that to a woman it's it's like me saying you know you know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna. It's it's like an abortion, basically. It's it's although although some people might not think it's the same. It, it's it's just like that. Because you can't really compare the you can't really compare the two. I know that. But me, like I said, like I said, me being a physical man, I have I have no right. To, to, to judge a human being an, another human being's emotion on what God is saying to them and say and say to them as a woman you should not preach the gospel you know I do watch women preachers but it's not but it's I, I have no right like I said and I've said it and I'm saying it many times I have no right as a man to what to to to, to say no to that but if a man says that if a man says that a woman woman shouldn't shouldn't preach the gospel you know that man is going to actually by force is probably going to try and stop the lady from preaching the gospel completely he's going he's gonna to devote he's going to devote all his time and attention to the minute details of stopping of stopping that lady or or wife or partner in in, in preaching the gospel and yeah yeah you know what can what can I say how how am I supposed to judge a human being's emotion whether it's a man or a woman how am I supposed to judge another human being's emotion and tell him what they can't and can't do based on the Bible but I'm saying when I say based on the Bible I mean how am I, I, I how, what right do I have to judge a human being's emotion their, their physical emotion on what God on what God has placed on their heart to do with their calling or whatever whatever their original or, or or current calling is. I know I know that in the in the I know that there was there's two reasons why 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 that why the apostle Paul said that women women shouldn't preach because I know one of them was was that the ladies were, were very were very were very outspoken in those days. But the second one is the second reason but I can't recall what it is. Perhaps somebody could write that re reply to me back in, in in the message in this message and say and say and say what 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 was the second reason it would be great if you did 
or if you could, whoever you are. So, if that's really all I have to say in this video. So before I go, let's let, let me pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace and mercy they put upon us from past, present, and future. Thank you for healing us in our minds and hearts and spirit, man, and all over in our lives, everywhere, oh God, that we that we sense and know, oh God. Help us, oh God, to understand what it means to be a man, oh God. Help us, oh God, on oh, no, oh Lord, to understand what it means to be a woman, oh God, my God. Help us to, to find our identity in Christ Jesus, oh God, oh Lord. Help us, help us, help us men to find our identity in Christ Jesus. And help us ladies to, to find our identities in Christ Jesus. And find our, and find both male, male, male or female to find our true identity, what we are called to do. I pray, Heavenly Father, you cover us by your Holy Spirit and Word. And guide us, O oh God, each and every day, and this and every step of the way, O oh God. Pray, I pray, grace and mercy will be upon us, from 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 now and to, and and for the future, and and cover our past, O oh God. Blot it out, blot it out over our, over our lives, O oh God. Help us to forgive ourselves and forgive one another, O oh God. I pray, grace and mercy will be upon us, O oh Lord. Pray move supernaturally and, and, and intercede on our behalf, Lord Jesus, as you already have done and will do from past, present and future in the blood of Jesus Christ. Pray grace and mercy will be upon us and remain with us and in, and in us, O God and Lord. I pray these things all in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys and gals. Bye for now.